All right, so today's video is going to be just a little bit different. We don't have a clip here, but we do have something that I do want to talk about because I think it's extremely important. One of the biggest, biggest names, most outspoken voices in the conservative MAGA Stop the Steal uh, movement, Ali Alexander, literally one of the people who started the Stop the Steal movement. I made videos about this gentleman before. He is a fucking nutcase and a half. Um, he, it, it came out that, surprise, surprise, this dude was grooming children, sexually grooming children, sending nude pictures, and also asking for nude photos of people that were 15. So I don't know who's surprised about it, um, but over the weekend, this whole entire controversy uh, came to light. The far right is roiled by an underage sex scandal, and um, apparently... Uh, Ali Alexander, this guy, who again I've made videos on, allegedly came on to two, two different teenage boys asking for nudes from a 17-year-old and then pressuring a 15-year-old to have sex with him. And you guys know the rhetoric from the left, I mean from the right, that the left is all groomers. They're all pedos. They all like to groom children, okay? Now, uh, the Daily Beast wrote a really, really nice, long, in-depth article about this. In 2017, Aiden Duncan, a 15-year-old boy in Colorado interested in right-wing politics, sent Alexander nude pictures after the MAGA activists asked him for them, according to an account Duncan gave in March 2023 podcast appearance, in a March 2023 podcast appearance. While Duncan was a high school sophomore just starting out in politics, Alexander was a 32-year-old man. A 32-year-old man um, asking 15-year-olds to send nude photos. If that's not child grooming, I don't know what is. If, that's, if, if this is not proof that every single thing the right says is uh, a confession, every single accusation they level against people on the left is an accusation, then I don't know what is. I, I just don't know what is. If this is not proof for people that need to hear this shit, that everything the right says about the left is just the biggest goddamn lie, like the left is the one grooming children. This dude's grooming children. He's actually grooming fucking kids. While Duncan was a high school sophomore starting out, Alexander was a 32-year-old with a decade of political work for the Republican Party behind him, and now he was willing to share the connections he had gained through that work with Duncan as long as the teenager met certain preconditions, including secrecy. This guy literally used his position as a political activist, if, if you can even call him that. I've seen a lot of people call Ali Alexander a conservative activist. I don't think that... Um, like, domestic terrorism is political activism in any way. Again, this guy was one of the people, he is one of the people who is the biggest proponent of Stop the Steal. He legitimately uh, thinks that Joe Biden uh, did not get the votes that he got in the presidential election. You'll have me sharing my entire network with you, Alexander told Duncan, according to Snapchat screenshots reviewed by the Daily Beast. By 2017, Alexander had become an ardent Trump supporter with a passion for social media trash talk. He became a protege of MAGA figures like Roger Stone and InfoWars chief Alex Jones and ran with a group of other young MAGA internet provocators uh, like Laura Loomer, Jacob Wall, just awful fucking people, Nick Fuentes, a name I really try to stay away from because he is just terrible. But in his messages to Duncan, according to the screenshots, there were... There was one name Alexander dangled as a perk for the teenager if he kept up contact with Alexander. Uh, everyone's favorite, uh, Milo Wyanopoulos. In a September 4, 2017 exchange about an upcoming trip Alexander was planning, Alexander purportedly told Duncan he would introduce the teenager to Wyanopoulos and speculated about whether the boy would be Alexander's arm candy. This is fucking disgusting, guys. This is the nastiest, weirdest shit I've ever fucking read. This is disgusting. I am literally disgusted right now. And suggested the boy would have to be entertaining. This is insane. This is fucking insane. This is literally grooming kids. I'm not, I, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't be acting surprised, but I am. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Rolling with me, Alexander wrote, according to the message. Mostly I'll have an entourage. Depends. Ha. I mean, depends. If it's me babysitting you during the day, then no. I don't have kids. This sounds like how he talks. If you guys have seen uh, videos I've covered on him, he's, he's a really weird dude. He's a weird guy. He has weird mannerisms. He says fucking off-the-wall bonkers banana shit all the time. If it's something more entertaining, then maybe. All depends on what we're up to. No matter what, I'll let you meet Milo. He's, this is fucking disgusting. I have no words for this shit. There's probably five people I'll introduce to him. But who will be my arm candy? The one with me always in VIP and in and out? Well, that is to be determined by the boy who plays his cards the most correct. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Arm candy greater than babysitting, Alexander added, according to the screenshot. This is, uh... This is fucking weird, guys. Other screenshots show Duncan sending Alexander a picture, which was redacted in the version of the screenshots reviewed by the Daily Beast. Alexander responded with the face with hearts, with face with heart eyes. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not up to my, I'm not uh, too keen on my emoji lingo. And asking the teenager which app Alexander should use to send him money. An undated series of screenshots report to show Alexander laying out rules for his contact with the teenager, many of them stressing secrecy and a sort of quid pro quo relationship between sexual availability and career opportunities. Guys, if this doesn't, again, just show you that everything the right says about the left is a fucking confession, not a fucking accusation they can provide proof of, it's because they want to draw the attention away from them. When you're grooming kids, the best thing, you know, <laughs> I, I, I guess the best thing if you are sexually grooming children is to accuse the other guy of sexually grooming children with no proof because when you're actually doing it, you, you need to draw the attention away from yourself, right? And that's what all Republicans do. This is what they do all the time. They are literally <laughs> always the problem. They're always the problem, but yet they're always complaining that it's other things that are the problem. It's other people. It's the liberals. It's the progressives. It's the left. It's the Dems that are pedophiles. They're grooming children. It's this. It's that. It, it's just, it's ridiculously stupid. Everything is secret and private. We're family. Another said that Duncan was allowed to say no, but that Alexander might deprive him of something unspecified in return. Boundaries are cool. Allowed to say no. However, the less you deprive me of, the less I deprive you of. This is some crazy, wacko shit, guys. This is just insane. This is insane. I'm a big sharing person unless it's not even. Finally, according to the message, Alexander asked Duncan to be mindful of each other's reputation. Ho oh, ho! Yeah. Uh, what kind of reputation did this guy fucking have? Um, not a great one. In an appearance last month on a podcast hosted by white supremacist Richard Spencer, Duncan claimed that Alexander wanted him to fly to Texas and be his intern, quote-unquote, assuring the teenager that the boy could just lie to his parents and say that he was going to a swim meet. I, I, I'm not trying to, to, like, laugh about this stuff or anything, but it just, it just, everything that these conservatives and Republicans do is, it just sounds like it's out of some goddamn, like, fucking crazy like drama comedy show this shit is insane but alexander had grown frustrated by may 2019 claiming that the still underage duncan wouldn't send him good jack off material according to the screenshots you don't even send me videos anymore alexander wrote no good jack off material don't even want to be my side piece this is a a child okay a day later According to the screenshots, he asked Duncan to come to Texas for a week for an internship. I, I don't know. And apparently the guy that's involved here, this guy, uh, the person who was being groomed, at least one of them, um, just <laughs> is a part of Nick Fuentes' uh, huge network of um, crazy white supremacists. But, um, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of other reporting. Uh, there was an, a, another, another person, another... Uh, not uh, not 18 year old uh individual that alexander was also trying to groom um and it, it, it's a lot of the same exact stuff so i i don't think it's uh i, I do think it's important that we do talk about all of it but uh, it, it, it's really just almost like the ex same exact thing but that's going to be it for the video if you guys like the video hit the like button press that subscribe button hit the little bell and guys tell me what you think about this tell me what you think of ali alexander a uh, huge outspoken conservative republican uh grooming kids tell me what you think about the right the true groomers of the children the true pedophiles please let me know what you guys think i'll see you later